Hello and welcome. Um, welcome to the off season, folks. Um, it, it is painful to say that, but uh, it is the truth. Um, for twenty for twenty three teams so far, um, I'm recording this before Dallas and Tampa um, play tonight. So, you know, twenty three teams are done. So it's the off season for about three quarters of the league, and. You know, now is as good of a time of any to start some off-season content, look back on the 2022 NFL season, and I'm going to start with um, something I like doing, looking back at some draft classes, and I'm going to start um, naturally with the Ravens draft class, and I am I am kind of torn on how to structure these if I should do player by player, you know, and have like a five-minute Kyle Hamilton video, five-minute you know, Isaiah Likely video, whatever that may be, or if I do more team by team focus. Um, But either way, I I think I'll do, at least for the Ravens, I'll think I'll, I think I'll do player by player. So I try to get more of the daily content, more regular scheduling. Um, So let's start with the 14th pick in the 2022 NFL draft. Safety out of Notre Dame, Kyle Hamilton. So I'm not going to say it was all pretty. There were some, you know, missteps, some, you know, especially early on in the season, the first few weeks were a little rough. Um, But I thought Hamilton settled in really nicely as a slot corner. Um, That is not what I expected at all. That is not, that was not on my bingo card. Um, But by the end of the season, he played over 350 snaps in the slot. He was, you know, these last few weeks, he was playing 40 snaps in the slot, 35 snaps in the slot. It felt, felt like every week. And, you know, credit where credit's due there, um, Hamilton, uh, both Hamilton and the Ravens, they figured it out. They figured out where to put Hamilton to, one, help the rest of the defense, and two, you know, just be the best version of Hamilton and let the defense be the best version of itself. And um, I think there's the quintessential Hamilton play was a, you know, a forced fumble on a tackle yesterday, just forces the fumble on Hayden Hurst. That's a a huge play. That's a 40 yard momentum swing or 40 yard field possession, field position um, swing right there. And that's, that's what Hamilton does. He forced also forced fumble against the Patriots, had five pass breakups. Um, you know, I thought he played really well. He graded out really well, like an 86 grade or something like that, had some 90s in there, um, was good in coverage. You know, Hamilton has his flaws. You know, he's not going to go man-to-man with a lot of wide receivers. That's fine, but that's not what he's asked to do. The, the Ravens, give him an assignment that Hamilton can do it. Hamilton does it really well, you know, and I think that's a testament to one, how good of a player Kyle Hamilton is, um, but two, just how smart the Ravens are and how well the Ravens go about their business, that they put most of their players in a position to succeed every week. And Hamilton did a whole lot of succeeding this year. He was a, you know, a standout player, um, didn't miss too many tackles after week one. He had, you know, tackling issues in the preseason, But then, you know, week one start or week two starts, he missed five tackles the whole year. So I'll take that out of a guy that was on the field, 600 snaps. Um, And just he's a playmaker. He's one of the guys that I think will be in that, um, you know, that Derwin James role that, you know, probably uh, too big for a safety. Right. Um, Kind of like that hybrid role as an overhang defender. Um, and I think he's going to excel at it for a long time, um, and he's going to make plays. And that's what matters. That's what's going to win on Sundays. That's what's going to keep you in games, and that's what's going to keep the defense operating as one of the best units in the NFL. And you saw the last half of the season, Roquan Smith comes in, and he's, of course, credited with the changing changing the defense. The schedule got a little bit easier, of course. Um, but then Kyle Hamilton moved to slot corner, and made life easier for everyone. So instead of Marlon having to play in the slot all the time, you know, and you're forced to play Marcus Peters and a different boundary corner, that's a problem. But when you say, Marlon, you're on the outside, Peters, you're on the outside, and you throw Hamilton in the slot, 
all right, you can really um, really game plan there. Then you, you Marcus Williams comes back. Geno Stone played well. Chuck Clark played well. Um, so adding that Kyle Hamilton piece was integral to the back-end defense. Um, and by the end of the season, the Ravens had one of the best pass defenses in the league. They were really, really quite stout. Um, and you saw that with Joe Burrow these last couple weeks, that week 18, I know you can say, well, they played a vanilla game plan. Um, if you want to say they played a vanilla game plan in week 18, then what were they doing in the playoff game? (laughs) Because the Bengals couldn't move the ball for large chunks of the game. Um, in large part because of how well Kyle Hamilton played and how well the defense as a whole played. So I I think Hamilton gets a solid, probably B plus, maybe a low A. Um, he's not on the caliber of Sauce Gardner, Tariq Woolen, um, Kenneth Walker, um, Brock Purdy, ironically enough. Guys like that, of course. He's not going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. I, he might get votes. I don't remember if they do deep uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year as a top five or just the top one, because I know they do MVP as a top five nowadays, but, you know, if you are if you gave, you know, five defensive rookie of the year votes, I think Hamilton might get a couple, you know, fourth or fifth place votes, but I think he was a, an unsung hero to the Ravens defense and a guy that um, should be used for a long time and is a, a great player. Um, so, yeah. So final stats for him, 600 defensive snaps, 354 at slot corner, five pass breakups, two forced fumbles, and two sacks. Um, I think this was was an excellent pick, and happy the Ravens nabbed him at 14. I wonder if there are some teams kicking themselves for not picking him earlier, but then again, he is a safety um, playing slot corner, but then again, slot corner is a essentially a starting position in the modern NFL. You know, guys like Teron Johnson, Kenny Moore, um, Marlon Humphrey, Marlon Humphrey, when he's in the slot, they're on the field every single snap. They are required to be, you know, these key contributors. Mike Hilton on the Bengals made some key plays, even though he wasn't on the field all the time because of the Ravens personnel groupings. But, you know, Hamilton's going to be on the field a lot. He's going to be asked to do a lot of things, and I trust that he's going to do them well, so... I think it was a a very good rookie season for Kyle Hamilton.